ordinary party that purports to win him at the New Orleans Jazz Museum. Your sponsorship and gala tickets make it possible for the Jazz Museum to provide free, entertaining, and educational programming year-round. This year, the Jazz Museum explores outer space with Jason Neville's Funky Soul Band, guest starring George Clinton. Come get to know the P-Funk on and support the museum. For sponsor and ticket information, please visit www.nolajazzmuseum.org slash gala. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Music at the Mint. Brought to you by the Jazz Foundation of America in conjunction with the Jazz Museum right here in downtown New Orleans. How's everybody doing? Well, it's great to have a, uh, a rowdy crowd down there. Down in front. It's great to have an excitable crowd here in the studio. And it's great to have us streaming every Wednesday this show to everybody around the world. We can thank our uh, Facebook buddies, uh, Louisiana Jazz, uh, the uh, music, uh, who's music outlet? Louisiana, Louisiana Music Factory and Offbeat Publications stream this through their uh, Facebook pages every Wednesday, so you can check it out, even if you're not here. So I'm Jason Patterson with the Snug Harbor Jazz Bistro, uh, right down there on Frenchman Street. They asked me to introduce the band, give you a Spend your ear a minute about the La Jazz Foundation of America because it's kind of a nice organization. It does a lot of things for our musicians. We've been doing our, helping them in so many ways since uh, Hurricane Katrina, and they've been helping folks even over in Lake Charles and anywhere we've got uh, musicians in distress. And oh, we've had some distressful periods, huh? Right, Pat? Yes. Yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. A couple of hurricanes and that thing called a pandemic, and you know, kind of hurts the pocketbooks of musicians and doesn't give them a lot to do. So the uh, Jazz Foundation has been there in so many ways helping with medical needs and housing and uh, legal services and even providing uh, performance opportunities like the one you're at right now on stage today. So hey, look what we got here. How lucky we are. We've got the heaviest heaviest drummer on the planet, pretty much. Isn't that right, Erlen? That's right. That's right. right. We're here. We're here. Erlen's been hanging and uh, working on those drums for decades. I know he looks like a young man, and he is. Yes, I am. And why do you stay young? Music. Because he does great music, and he's going to be showing that to you today. He has, uh, wow. An international band here this evening. And uh, why don't we give it up for Victor Campbell over here on the piano. <laughs> He's actually going to be playing with his own band at Snug Harbor tonight. Come on down there after this one. And uh, holy smokes, look, we got Yusa. <laughs> She's so famous, she only needs one name. You know, like Cher. Give it up for Alexi Marte. <laughs> He's a badass drummer, too. <laughs> he plays all sorts of stuff, when you least expect it. So please, please, give a rousing round of applause for Herlin Riley and his quartet.
Thank y'all very, very much. And welcome to the beautiful Jazz Museum. We're certainly glad that you came out to jo join us this afternoon to hear a bit of music. And uh, this is, this is we're making our maiden voyage tonight. Okay, this is a group of people that we assembled here. And uh, we call this, this group Four C's. Four C's. Crescent City, Cuban Connection. This is the Crescent City Cuban Connection. So, uh, yeah, these are all good friends of mine, and and uh, this is we're making our maiden voyage today because uh, we haven't all we played together individually at different different points in time, but we never played together collectively. So we're making our maiden voyage today, and you're here, you're here to witness it. That's right. So uh, we have some wonderful music prepared for you guys. A lot of original music. And some couple of pieces that you may uh, you may know, but uh, I want to feature these guys and you know and uh, I heard them play about I guess about three weeks ago. They were at a function, just the three of them playing together, and I was like, wow, man, I, they, they, they sounded so wonderful. It kind of touched me, and I said, man, I gotta have these people play with me, these collectively. So here we are, and uh, I'm glad that the Jazz Museum and the Jazz Foundation saw an opportunity and saw an, saw it fit to uh, have us assemble today. So uh, this is, we're also celebrating um, Hispanic heritage. And, um, and so I was, I was like, man, I, I'm not sure if Cuban is, is part of the Hispanic heritage. Alexi, let me, he assured me. We were the beginning of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and little did I know when I assembled the group that, that it would be Hispanic Her Heritage uh, Week of celebration. So we're here in, in celebrating Hispanic heritage as well as New Orleans and Cuban connection. So um, 
I want y'all to welcome one more time on the piano, Mr. Victor Campbell. Victor Campbell. And today she's playing the bass, but this lady is a, a quid triple threat. She plays the bass, she plays the guitar, she plays the threads, she plays the piano, and she sings the triss, right? The, the triss. The three, three string, three double string guitar. Three. Three. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. But that's you, sir, y'all. That's you, sir. And on the Kungaros, the Kungas. <laughs> yeah. We have my good friend, Mr. Alexi Marti. Alexi Marti. And that first tune was written by Alexi. That first tune was written by Alexi. That's entitled Bicycle. The Bicycle by Alexi Marti. So we're going to continue with the tune that was written by Yusa. No, not by Yusa. It's, it's kind of a classic, a Cuban song classic, you know. And, uh, and I love it because uh, uh, I, play, I used to play the tres, that, uh, the Cuban, that I Cuban instrument that is like a traditional small, like a small guitar, three double strings, steel strings, you know. And, uh, and, I, I, and I wanted to, you know, get back to the, those rhythms uh, or those styles in Cuba that we have lost, you know, are included in my, in my music. I have all, all those sources, no? And that's why I decided to make this song that uh, is a love song, you know, Amor de Millones. It's like love for millions of, of millions. It's hard to describe because it's kind of something that, you know, with the mountains, the love and everything, you know, and, and you and this. Changui, that's a Changui. Changui de Cuba. Oh, 
BCC, four C's, y'all. These next two tunes, the next two tunes that we're gonna do, they're original compositions, tunes I wrote um, some time ago. And uh, one of the tunes I wrote for my son, my oldest son. And this is, his nickname is Bird, they call him Bird. So this is entitled Bird Life, Bird Life. Bird Life. Oh. The first tune is Bird Life. The second tune is entitled Shake Off the Dust. Shake Off the Dust. The first one is Bird Life, then Shake Off the Dust. Two original compositions back to back.
This next tune. It's always a tune that comes after a lot of energy. Comes comes after a hard day's work. And uh, you've been stuck in traffic. Somebody at work got on your nerves. Or you got on somebody else's nerves. And, you know, you've had a hard day. So when you get home, you get home, you take off your shoes, kick back in your easy chair, and you, you get yourself a, your nice, your favorite beverage, whatever you like to relax yourself. And you put on a little Hurl and Rally, put on this particular tune, and, and uh, you shake off the dust of the day, all the troubles off, everything, you put it behind you. And you don't trip over what's behind you, so you let it go. So this is entitled Shake Off the Dust. Shake Off the Dust.
Sácate ese polvo de las manos. Oh yeah, sacúdete, sacúdete. Shake off your dust. Oh yeah, oh no. Sing with me, sacúdete, sacúdete. Sacúdete. Otra vez, encore une fois. I just learned a new Spanish word. Sacúdete. Sacúdete. It means shake off the dust. Shake it off. Shake off the dust. So right now we're going to go into the songbook of the great, the great Dizzy Gillespie. This is one of his most famous tunes. And uh, this tune was arranged by our percussionist, Mr. Alexi Marti. This is his arrangement of Dizzy Gillespie's tune, his very famous tune, A Night in Tunisia, A Night in Tunisia.
Yeah, can't go wrong with Dizzy Gillespie, Delonious Monk, or Duke Ellington. Can't go wrong. They all they, they wrote gems. And Louis Armstrong too. You can't I can't forget Louis Armstrong, the king of it all. He brought all the stuff to town. So anyway, we're gonna continue with a tune that was written by another wonderful Cuban musician, and uh, I became friends with this guy when I went to visit Cuba. And he's also came, came to New Orleans and played with me a few times. His name is Hernan Lupez Nusa. And uh, this next tune is entitled Blues de Marietta. And I might throw in a little lanyard for y'all. You will see how, we'll see how it works out. This is Blues de Marietta. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Because you lie all the time. You're not a trustworthy woman. Because you lie all the time. You and I will never be successful as long as you keep on lying. This is what happened, y'all. When I first met your baby, you told me your name was Mary Jane. you lady you told me your name was Mary Jane but when the police had you in the lineup the heat was called you by another name I wouldn't trust you baby from the kitchen to my front door I wouldn't trust you woman from the kitchen to my front door That's all she wrote. <laughs> now, I, I know some of y'all might be laughing at me, but I don't care. <laughs> Look, when you when you're doing this music, this one this wonderful lady, her name is Miss Jermaine Basil. She said to me, she said to me, I, you know, Miss Jermaine Basil is a lady. She's she carried herself with a real a regal persona. And uh, she was a, a teacher in, a, in an all-girls school. And so she was always being an example for the girls. When she was off the stage, she was always carrying herself really, really like 
like we're like walking royalty. She's always very classy and always very, you know, um, very had walk with integrity and that kind of thing. So, but when she got to the bandstand and she was singing, well, she still she sing not not was when she when she's singing when she's performing when she's doing her thing, you know, you'll see her with a handkerchief and she she put her hands on her hips. She may shake her hips. She rolls her shoulders and she. She dances and she, she does all this, all, this, all this stuff and she's free. So she said to me, I said to her one day, Mr. Jermaine, why is it that when you're on the bandstand, you know, you're so ratty, but when, you, when you're off the bandstand, you just, you know, you're very royal, you have, you have like, you're like walking royalty. She said, let me tell you something, Carolyn. When you get on the bandstand and you're doing your thing, you have to allow yourself to be emotionally naked. And that means come with your truth and with your honesty it doesn't matter if you mess up a little bit, but just you, you, if you come in with truth and integrity and honesty, then that's what the music is all about. That's what art is about. Art is about your own truth and your own integrity. So sometimes I mess up, sometimes I don't. So <laughs> here it is. So that was, that was, uh, that was Blues de Marietta with a little muddy water thrown in there. Anyway, this next tune, first of all, I want to thank you all so much for coming out. And we hope you enjoyed our musical offering. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time, you know, because we, we, could, we could go on all day. But I was told that we got we to gotta make it an hour. Got to do an hour. So, um, so we, we've almost run out of time. But before we go, I want to introduce the guys, the people on the bandstand. Uh, not just guys. This is a lovely young lady right here. And I'm going to introduce her first. This is you, sir, y'all. This is you, sir. You, sir. You, sir. And on the piano, my nickname for him is B-flat. That's B-flat. <laughs> His name is Victor, Victor Campbell. Victor Campbell. <laughs> Victor Campbell. <laughs> B-flat. <laughs> and on the percussion, on the percussion, my good friend, Alexi Marti. Alexi Marti. <laughs> My name is Hurl and Riley, and we're gonna do a tune. Is this, wait, you sir, now this is your tune. Is this your tune? Yeah. This is your tune. Well, why don't you introduce, this is your, this is, since this is your song, why don't you go ahead and introduce and talk to the people and tell them yeah. what it is. Well, this is a privilege. Uh, first of all, thank you, Marcel. That was a, uh, this is so, such an honor. His generosi generosity, no, no, right now my English is so bad. <laughs> I, I have to think like three times to say something, and then I say, when I look myself, I don't know, I said, why, why do I say that? <laughs> well, <laughs> the next song is a Chacarera. That's a rhythm from uh, Argentina. And um, it's one of my oldest songs, but uh, you know, in, in my life, during my life, uh, I've been changing the song, you know, and the song is adding uh, all the flavors, and uh, that's what makes it all, all the time alive, you know, because it's, it was already written, you know, so it's better, better, better to make a life. Now, I'm here and now. You know. So, thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Mark.
parece una rumba Yo no sé lo que me pasa Pero el cuerpo se me pone así Oye, como me laza Agua de río Agua que viene y me trae la bendición Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for coming and sharing a bit of your Wednesday afternoon. Hump day, hump day. This is a hump day, hump time too. Thank y'all so much for coming out. You, sir, this is you, sir. Victor Campbell, Alexi Marti, and yours truly, Hurl and Rowdy. Y'all take care. God bless you. We see you next time. Peace and love, everybody.